As the name suggests, single-pack polyurethane doesn't require the mixing of a resin and catalyst to create a chemical reaction and is applied directly onto chopped strand matting. Single-pack polyurethane can be used on balconies, car parks, on the roofs of domestic and commercial buildings. It provides the benefit of being ready to use, unaffected by weather once laid, and flexible. Although there are many advantages to using liquid waterproofing, it's important to be aware of the differences in application on site. These include the application temperature, which may affect curing rates, so refer to manufacturer guidelines. The amount of substrate preparation to guarantee a full bond, with a primer possibly being needed. The requirements to complete a cosh assessment, such as PPE, handling requirements and unfamiliar smells, which should be checked by referring to the manufacturer's materials safety data sheet. And the disposal of used packaging, with manufacturers consulted for their recommendations on recycling and disposal. In terms of PPE, you will need to wear gloves, safety glasses and all other safety equipment relevant to the site where you're working. The tools required include rollers, brushes, sealant, sandpaper, a wet film gauge and chopped strand fibre matting. As with all liquid systems, details are dealt with first. On this system, no primer or sealing is needed and it can be applied direct from the tin without stirring. Apply the base coat at the rate of 1 litre per metre squared. This may need to be increased on roofing felt. Apply polyurethane to a minimum of 150 millimetres up the surface of the pipe and fix matting into the base coat. You can tear it by hand if you wish. The fibre matting has a binder which holds the fibre strands together. This softens when polyurethane is applied and after five minutes or so, the matting becomes flexible and can be worked fully. Apply polyurethane to the upstand and provide a minimum lap of 50 mm. The base coat can be applied to any surface such as roofing felt, plywood or a detail such as a plastic roof light in the same way. Place the matting into the base coat and use a roller to squeeze out any air and allow the polyurethane to squeeze through to provide a full seal. On larger flat sections, apply a minimum lap of 50 mm for the upstands and details and apply the matting in two halves as shown. If any gaps are apparent, apply patches to provide a complete seal. Leave the base coat to cure fully for 6 to 8 hours overnight. Once the base coat is applied to the roof, it will remain watertight, even if it rains. Having left the base coat to cure, you need to carry out any snagging of the surface for wicks. This can be done using a light sandpaper. Once complete, open the tin of top coat and apply it immediately to the upstands and details first, and then cover the main area. To ensure that the thickness of the top coat is correct, place the wet film gauge into the surface and check the micrometer reading.